Hey guys, it's at Simping for Simbot from Sketchy reporting to you live right outside my apartment where the brawl of the century is about to go down. And I'm going to be giving you a play by play of this battle and the superpowers of the autonomic nervous system. <laughs> Let's watch as we pit the effects of the sympathetic nervous system against the effects of the parasympathetic nervous system. This is because while both systems operate together to produce a coordinated response, they tend to function reciprocally, meaning when one system increases in effect, the other tends to decrease it, and vice versa. Although there are exceptions. From the looks of it, this is going to be a huge battle, and I'm going to have to upload two videos, so make sure to follow me on my channel for the latest updates. And as you all know by my username, I simp for Simbot. So of course he comes first in our video. Huh. What a glorious machine! Never in my life would I have thought Simbot would have a destructive battle in my town. And it looks like I'm not the only one, because in the corner, Simbot has a cadre of sympathetic supporters who've come out to cheer him on, including this man holding a Sympathy for Simbot sign. Yeah. And who else would be in the opposing corner but Robo Parakeet, the most fearsome bird monster with parasympathetic superpowers that we'll feature in my next video. Before things get heated up here, let's keep in mind that the sympathetic nervous system triggers the fight or flight response, which kicks in during times of stress. Like, you know, right now, when you get caught in the middle of a giant robot rumble. Also remember that the sympathetic nervous system uses alpha and beta adrenergic receptors, and in one case a sympathetic cholinergic receptor, to carry out its effects. Okay, enough side chatter. <laughs> Simbot's powering up, which means the fight's about to begin. First up is the heart, where the sympathetic nervous system acts via beta-1 receptors to increase cardiac output. It does this by increasing the heart rate, by stimulating the SA node and increasing AV node conduction, and by increasing contractility. And as you can see, Simbot now in fight mode. It's raised its arm along with its heart watch, and it's contracting his fist to help you remember this. The sympathetic nervous system also acts on vascular smooth muscle to ensure blood gets to where it's needed most. Guys, I don't know how to begin to even describe to you how it feels to be this close to my mecha hero. I can literally see his pale armor plates! This is because in blood vessels of the splanchnic regions and skin, the sympathetic nervous system acts on alpha-1 receptors to cause vasoconstriction. This helps redirect blood flow away from less critical areas. In contrast, in blood vessels of the skeletal muscles, it acts on beta-2 receptors to cause vasodilation. This helps meet the muscle's increased metabolic demands. Just like these thick red hoses running beneath Simbot's armor help fuel its giant mecha muscles. Do you hear that? Do you hear that whooshing sound? That's Simbot's intakes drawing massive amounts of air into its back. This is because the sympathetic nervous system causes bronchodilation, which decreases airway resistance and increases air flow. And how does it do it? By acting on beta 2 receptors in the respiratory system to relax bronchiolar smooth muscle. 